After a poor start to the year, U.S. stocks have staged quite a comeback. In fact, the market is again trending near its all-time high. In this week's U.S. Bank Economic 360, U.S. Bank Vice President and Senior Portfolio Manager Mike Deniman joins us to talk about the strong rebound and what to expect going forward. Mike is with Business Courier producer Kelly Leon in the studio. Mike and Kelly. Thanks, Peg. Hey, Mike. Good morning. So, strong comeback for stocks. Definitely a nice comeback mm -hmm. for stocks. You know, uh, you know, we talked earlier this year. It started out pretty bleak. Uh, January was lousy. February didn't start much better. Uh, in fact, the market lost about 10% in just the first six weeks of the year. So that, that's a bad year in a month and a half. Yeah. But then about mid-February, uh, stocks started trending higher, and they just kept on going. So, yeah, as Peg just mentioned, we're seeing the market back near those all-time record highs that we had last year. Uh, the Dow was back above 18,000 again this past week. So, uh, you know, it's been a, kind of a wild ride. Uh, it's really just playing out now as we've seen the last year. We have these highs, we have these lows, and then the market just kind of seesaws between the two with, unfortunately, not really getting anywhere. The irony is that the market today is essentially where the market was a year ago. If you look at the two points, you would think maybe nothing has happened, but we know the reality has been, in fact, that the, the market's been all over the map. But we've talked in the past about summer being a difficult time for stocks. A absolutely, absolutely. We have talked that, that concept of, uh, of sell in May and go away, right. this longstanding idea that you know, the market just doesn't do anything during the summer, so it's best just to put it aside and, and forget about it. Well, mm -hmm. so far in 2016, not so much. Mm -hmm. uh, we're through May now, and May had a pretty nice return for the market, so we're off to a good start for the summer. But then we also need to keep in mind that you know we've got some potential hurdles out there. Uh, we've got the Fed on deck. Uh, we've got the election, of course. Yeah. We've got one of your favorite topics. The Brexit is is the Brexit. coming up. So uh, it you know turns out that these are a lot of the same worries that were plaguing the market back to start the year. And guess what? They're back. So we're going to find out just how strong this rally really is to see if the market can take these things in stride this time around. Um, so, you know, it's, it'll be an interesting summer. So do you want to look into that crystal ball and give us some projections about where you think it's going? Uh, the crystal ball is a little cloudy this morning, <laughs> but um, I, I'll, I'll, I'll venture a couple comments anyway. Um, so, uh, you know, as we move through the summer, we do have these potential hurdles out there. And, you know, depending on your outlook, you know, we're seeing market uh, commentators now who are more glass half full yeah. and they're saying hey it's always good. yeah the market's okay the economy's okay the corporate profits are okay we should be able just to to cruise right through we've got some nice momentum behind us yeah on the other hand there's some market observers who are more glass half empty that are saying hey you know what let's be realistic this market has come a long way very quickly too quickly perhaps mm -hmm. we've got these potential disruptions to think about Let's not get too complacent with the market being back at these record highs. So, um, it, you know, there's there's a contrast there between opinion, and we're going to start getting some feedback pretty soon. Uh, the Fed's on deck for next week. The Brexit vote is the week after that. So, again, some of these near-term potential disruptions, we're going to find out in pretty short order uh, what they're going to tell us as we start the the summer here. So, okay. well, your projections are usually right. So, <laughs> we'll continue to listen to you and talk more about it maybe next week. I, I'll come back and tell you whether I was right or wrong. <laughs> okay. I like that. He'll admit when he was wrong. That's right. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. Okay.